Namaste, I'm astrologer Divyashree. Hello friends. I will be talking about the effects of planets in the seventh house of a birth chart. Every planet when it is present in a particular house has its own effect. The first house in the horoscope is the self. We call it Tanubhava. It says a lot about what you are, who you are. There are 12 houses in the horoscopes, we know that. So the first house talks about who you are. The second house says how your family life will be. The third house says your relationship in the society and your siblings basically. And the fourth house talks about your immobile assets and properties. The fifth house talks about your creativity and progeny, children. The sixth house talks about enemies you will have in life. The seventh house talks about married life and relationships. The eighth house talks about the end of life, the kind of trauma that you may go through and diseases. The ninth house talks about the kind of fortune you are born with. The tenth house talks about the profession. Eleventh house talks about friends, groups and wish fulfillment, financial gains. And the twelfth house talks about losses in life in general. So we said the seventh house is going to talk about the kind of marriage that we will have. Seventh house is called the Kalatrasthana, the house of the spouse. So if we have sun in the seventh house, sun in the seventh house is extremely good because sun is a planet which takes up a lot of responsibilities. He shoulders all the other responsibilities and he wants to be the leader. So a person who has son in the seventh must understand that the spouse wants to be the leader. If this is not understood, then there will be ego clashes. So in the seventh house, if you have son, be ready for an adamantine or a very determined partner very enterprising, wanting all the attention, wanting all the accolades and a lot of importance. The spouse demands from you and if you don't give it, you get into ego clashes because sun is one planet which will not take disobedience or disrespect easily at all. So if you have planet sun in your seventh house, then you have to be the negotiator or the forgiver or just the one who lets it go in your marriage.